Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN and I've recorded this uh, quick video update uh, regarding Friday's big drop in the markets and exactly what's going on. I'm recording this as of 1 p.m. on uh, Monday, September the 23rd. So uh, I was uh, sent this uh, email. This is a great photo of the America's Cup race out here and you know it reminded me of the importance of understanding when it comes to uh, making decisions in these markets that the strategist will always slay the tactician uh, one a great book if you haven't read it uh, the art of war Sun Tzu you know he says the strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory but tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat now the keys to success in trading You've got tactics and strategy. I believe that tactics are about 20% of uh, trading and 80% is really the psychology of the markets. We're going to look at the psychology of the markets and we're going to do that by taking a look at bearish reversal candles right now. Uh, so we're going to look at the S&P 500, the bulls and bears that go to work each and every day. They cannot hide, and they help us to identify the actual emotion of the marketplace. And that's really what it's all about. So if you don't understand candlesticks, this is something that you want to do because you can make the right decision at the wrong time, and you can get slaughtered out there. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. So as of 1 p.m., it was trading out at about 17.02. So we had a nice move up this uh, candle session right here. This was the result of the way that the market responded to the FOMC minutes on uh, Wednesday. Wednesday and what happened was the market broke over a resistance area and old resistance becomes new support now how do we know its resistance the resistance areas on the daily chart of the S&P 500 were set up by this bearish engulfing candle right here and this little bear sash candle right there that's this black horizontal line going across my screen uh, and the other area of resistance was this key reversal bearish engulfing day here this was from May 22nd so we can see here so far intraday the first area of resistance and old resistance becomes new support this is an area of resistance we can see price here it got up above it came back down in fact price came back down and tested the old resistance which then became support and that makes this May 22nd level 1687.18 very important if the market is going to reverse the first clue is going to come from the daily chart out there then we'll take a look at the weekly I'll switch over to weekly chart in a moment so on the daily chart we're looking at support being somewhere between the 1687 to 1698 uh, level out there of course just moving back and testing this area and holding which is also a 0.382 retracement that would be very strong that would be very strong momentum if that's the extent of the down move so we're going to be paying attention to the daily first then we're going to be looking at the weekly chart now on the weekly chart the support is really set up here at this what's referred to as a rising window or a gap up and there's two gaps up we can see in fact the one that took pace, place previous to September 13th, which was down here on July 5th. Notice how the market had gapped up, moved higher, came all the way back down and tested that gap, which held, and then we saw the next move up here. This was last week. This is the current week. It's just Monday. It's just 1 p.m. This rising window, which is at the uh, price level of 1689 on the weekly chart, that's the first area to be tested. If we see a close below that this week, by the end of Friday, then the next level of support is going to be this tested rising window, this tested gap up here at the 1632 level. So now we know our parameters on the daily. We know what they would mean on the weekly. Let's take a look at the monthly chart. Now, on the monthly chart here shows this nice run up since the uh, lows in March of 2009. Also shows that price is above this horizontal old resistance level, which is in about the 1550 area. A close below 1689.42 would bring that 1550 into play. But so far, as we speak right now, this is the month of September. This is this green candle right here. The prior month, the month of August, was a dark cloud cover, very much like a weather forecaster telling you about some clouds off in the distance, maybe in, and what might be moving in. In this case here, the clouds that were off in the distance in the month of August have been erased by the strong candle. September's not over. We have uh, five 
five trading sessions left. If, in fact, we see a close below 1689.42, which is this dark cloud cover, that would be a warning sign. We had a dark cloud cover way back here, uh, back in the uh, 2001 time frame. Uh, some of these other items, this divergence, these are other elements that I'm going to be uh, sharing with uh, folks that are going to be attending my Master Trader Workshop, uh, which is this coming uh, Friday, September the uh, 27th. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in, you know, what I've learned in my life, so it depends on where you're at with regard to technical trading. The key to having a successful formula is a sense of urgency because if you wait, life just simply passes you by. So if you're even thinking about how is it that you can get more out of your technical trading, I'm very impassioned about what I do, and I know with certainty that I can teach you the hidden secrets of the markets, how to go ahead and apply this to your existing trading platform. It's called the Ultimate Money Machine. It's going to be held September 27th from 9 to 4. You can save 200 dollars by signing up by tomorrow evening Tuesday September 24th it includes one month of my mastering probability newsletter my uh, management my my uh, uh, money management workshop as well as my position size calculator great value but the most valuable thing is that I will be able to teach you how to fish I will teach you how to be able to read the message of the market so that's where we're at in the S&P 500 have a great day take care bye bye now